Hello, it's Adrian from Accuracy here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, your Tyrannus QX7 to be used as a USB device for accuracy. Um, you have to do a little bit of config in the radio first, uh, set up some channels, just like you would do in a normal model. So, first of all, I'm just going to show you what I've set up on mine. Um, you only need six channels, you don't need to configure too much there. So, I'm on my accuracy uh, model memory, and so I've got my inputs, so I've got my four throttle aileron elevator radar, which are the four basic ones, and then I've got two more set up for switching functions, we'll come to that in a minute. So one's on um, switch F, which is a two position, and one's on switch C, which is a three position. And then the inputs match that as well. So that's your, that's your, uh, your six channels for your main controls. Um, it's really important that you plug the radio in first. So you switch the radio on, plug the radio in to uh, your mini USB, and then open up Accuracy. Okay, so uh, started up Accuracy. My transmitter's plugged in. It's in uh, USB uh, controller mode, which will ask you to do when you plug the transmitter in if you're on 2.2 or more. So click on Transmitter. And then I've already preset one up here for the Tyrannus using USB. Uh, but I'll show you what I've set up. So click on device, uh, the presets Tyrannus, game, game controller, and then if you've got multiple USB devices plugged in here, uh, like joysticks and steering wheels and stuff like that, you can pick, make sure that it's on your Tyrannus here. So once you've got it set up in devices, you then go to calibrate. Um, it's really important before you do the calibration in accuracy to do a device calibration. Um, don't pay too much attention to what is doing what. So when I'm moving the 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 elevator, it's it's moving that bit, and that's the throttle there. And then, but don't worry too much about what is doing what. Um, in that one, it's, it's, there's no. It doesn't matter what is what because we we've configured it. We'll configure it in the simulator. So it's really important that you do. Uh, calibration in the game controllers thing first. Uh, it's, you don't always need to, but it just avoids any problems later on uh, in the com in the configuration, um, and it, well, it and it gives you better resolution as well. So the the resolution here is then multiplied by the simulator. So if you've got if you're not getting very much travel in um, on your bars. Here, you're not getting full travel then what you'll you'll end up with a very low resolution and it won't fly as nicely okay so click on settings and then calibrate and then it will take you through the calibration wizard so once you've done the calibration there you can then go back to accuracy and do the the final calibration here just to make sure it's all perfect so click next center center all the sticks including the switches apart from the two position obviously and then move things in circles move your switches and finish and then when you go to channels you can just make sure that everything's moving as it should be and then functions now I've set functions up here so that I've got my RPM 1, 2 and 3 on there and throttle hold on the two position switch. Now you can this this is quite flexible. If you've used uh, clean flight or better flight it will be quite familiar. So you can move these little bars around. If the dot the control dot, these dots here, is between the two dots with the grit light green bar, then the panel turns green and that means that one's active. So that, so now that's RPM two, RPM three and channel and throttle hold here. Um, there's a nice little reverse button. Now if you wanted to use the momentary switch on your radio to, to toggle something on and off, there's this toggle mode here. So when it so when you it toggles once it goes on and when it toggles again it goes off. On off. So you could use your momentary switch to switch something on and off if you wanted to. There's loads of different settings here. Ground light rescue, weapons, blah, blah, blah. Um, 
and then you've got the plane tab and the drone tab as well so you can set these all, all up separately uh, similarly in the channels tab there is a plane and a drone and a car config too so if you could have different setups for different types of models as well okay and that is how you set your your Tyrannus uh, QX7 or similar um, up on accuracy via USB thank you very much goodbye